Hi, I'm Roch. I'm 30 years old from Pasig City and this is my Historia. I'm actually an ophthalmologist in training at the DOH Eye Center. And before this COVID-19 pandemic happened, I usually just attended to patients with strictly eye diseases or eye complaints. However, with the emergence of this COVID-19 pandemic, many of our healthcare workers were either hospitalized or required to undergo self-quarantine. Naturally, they needed people to replace them. That's where we come in. Eyes then turned to us, and suddenly, we were thrusted into the front lines. Honestly, I felt scared, unprepared, and my heart was really restless. I don't even know how to use a stethoscope anymore. I remember on my first day at the COVID ER tent, I was trying to listen to my patient's breath sounds using a stethoscope when another doctor approached me and asked me, albeit jokingly, Kuy, ano na bang ginagawa mo dyan? What are you doing there? Most likely referring to uh, the unhealthy amount of time it was taking for me to listen to my patient's breath sounds. And to my honesty, I replied, hindi ko din alam. I really didn't know. I asked the Lord the same question. Lord, what am I doing here? I'm an ophthalmologist, so why am I in the front lines? But when I wasn't hearing any answer from the Lord, I started to think whether I was asking the right question. Sometimes when you're not getting any answer, maybe you have to ask a different question. And so, instead of asking him, Lord, what am I doing here? I started asking him, Lord, what can I do here? And it suddenly reminded me of my call as a doctor to cure sometimes, to treat often, and to comfort always. How proud was I to think that I was capable of treating all my patients' physical illnesses when God was simply asking me to comfort their souls. That truth gave me peace. And not long after, I had a patient who was waiting inside the COVID tent. Even before we started with the interview, he started complaining to me about how long he waited, how hungry he was, and how he's been to many hospitals before this one. And I really had a mouthful to say as well, but I held myself back. Because before me was a scared patient who probably did not understand what his situation was. And waiting there must have increased his anxiety, seeing the other patients around him. So instead, I apologized to him and I offered to him the pan de coco and water that was supposed to be my lunch. Immediately, he started thanking me, apologizing to me, and crying. But right then and there, at that moment, I was certain that one person was comforted by the pandekoko that I shared. Many times, I still get so scared being where I am, battling an invisible enemy. But I'm so thankful because we may be in the front lines, but behind us are prayer warriors, generous donors, and loving friends. And before us is a God whose victory is assured. So to answer my original question, what am I doing here? Well, I do what I can to comfort always, to be the hands, feet, eyes, and heart that Jesus needs for such a time as this. And that gives me peace. And this is my Historia.